Hey there, this is a short video on how to do an expression to set up styling in a choropleth map within QGIS. So this is if you want to calculate a field within the expression, within the symbology um, tool within QGIS rather than go through the trouble of creating one in the attribute table. So we've got um, data here from NHGIS, it's census data, and we've joined a ta some tabular data, which you see right here, to a shapefile there. Um, and now we're going to try to do some symbology. So um, if we open up the attribute table, we can take a look at it. And we've got um, the geographic data here, some information about each county, um, this county level data, and a bunch of counts. And we want to convert that over to a rate because we want to see the percentage of people um, working within a particular employment sector in this case. And we have some metadata as well that looks like this that gives us what all those variable names are. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this one right here. here. Uh, men who are employed in the finance sector um, as a percentage of the total male population. So um, to do that, what we need to do is open up the properties window. I right clicked on this layer and choose properties. And you'll see right now it's just a simple fill. We want to change that to graduated, um, which is what we use for uh, quantitative data. And then we're going to pick our column. It was, I believe, we could just look at the raw counts. And that's 14, I believe is what it was. Let me just double check. Um, yes, so it was AH33, E14. If I wanted to just do that, and let's do natural breaks classification and look at it, we'll go ahead and just click apply and leave this window open. We'll see there's not, there's a lot of places where there's not a lot of people, essentially. This is just a population map. And if you look at this, you'll kind of see that it's an area where people live. We want to instead calculate this as a rate. And to do that, we click on this little expression tool right here. So I'm going to click on that, and I get an expression dialog box that looks like this. And right now, it just has that variable name. So let's say I want to do um, the rate. What I would do is I would go under Fields and Values here and click on the drop down menu. And I would find that A33E14, age 33E14. Um, double click on that, and you'll see it. See, it shows up here. You can also type this in if you're a little uh, more savvy in how this gets set up. And then the 2, age 33 eo 2 is the total male population. And I'm going to multiply it by 100, so we get a rate out of 100. And you actually see down here, there's a preview of what that looks like. Um, and I think that should be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Um, we'll go ahead and classify it again. This is just, again, with a natural break scheme. And yeah, that looks about right if I do a histogram. Over here, you'll see most of the values are clustered under 5, but there's a few high outliers um, in this case. I'm going to go ahead and click on Apply to our map. Now we see it's a lot more filled out. I'm not sure there's a, a clear geographic pattern here, but there's definitely more going on on this map. We do see, for instance, the area around Des Moines and Omaha is a little bit higher, and we know there's financial centers there. So um, the one other thing I'm going to suggest that we do, because there's a lot of black on this map from those county boundaries, let's go ahead and lighten those. So if I click on Change here, I can change the, the properties for all symbols. Now, I don't want to mess with that with um, the fills, but I do want to mess with the, the boundaries. And stroke color is what they refer to boundaries as um, in the QGIS selector box. This is QGIS 3.2. Um, if I click on this, I can lighten up those boundaries a little bit. So I'll choose a little bit lighter color. And maybe I'll make it kind of a little bit transparent as well, which is what this button does right here. I'll click OK. I'll click Apply. And we'll see that did quite a bit. That's even still a little heavy, maybe, for me. So let me go ahead and change that again. Maybe I'll make those that boundary a little bit um, smaller. So rather than um, 0.26, let's try 0.1 and see what that looks like. Apply. Didn't have a whole lot of change. We'll try one more time here. Simple fill, stroke color, make it even a little bit lighter and even a little more transparent. So there's just a hint of a boundary there because the, the colors themselves do a lot of the work. There we go. That looks much better. So now the, the colors really pop out and the boundaries are just there to kind of act as a guide if we want it to be. And we can really see the pattern here of where the, the financial sector um, is present for men, at least, um, within 
the whole country. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that, and we're done.